Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga Des Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This reading is uh, Virgo in separation, no contact. And this can be yours if your Sun, Moon, Rising Sign or Venus is in Virgo. I'm going to use the Shaman's Dreams Oracle to find out about the energies between you and your person and um, see what is going on between the two of you. So let's see what is the energy right now. Although you are not in communication, maybe you are separated, definitely. So what are the energies? Very interesting that one turned around. Uh, this is the caterpillar opportunity number four. So what I'm getting from this energy is that the two of you right now are um, possibly uh, focusing on your very own paths, uh, on your own opportunities. Caterpillar is suggesting um, a transformation uh, which is ongoing at this point, creating more stability, possibly more abundance. So this is the energy of uh, the connection between the two of you right now. Now these other three falling out, I'm going to have a look at because uh, there is a reason why all four of them appeared at the same time. And we've got Stranger, Curiosity, Sky Bridge, Possibility for Union, and Horned Cactus, Resourcefulness. Now look at the numbers. 8, 11, 11. 5 plus 3 is 8, 4 plus 7, and 2 plus 9 are 11. So it is suggesting very interesting number combinations that... Um, you both are working on your own stability to create abundance and uh, looking at whether the possibility for union is there. And uh, both of you could be very shut down right now, very spiky, uh, protecting yourself, not allowing, both of you are protecting yourself, not allowing uh, any... Um, communication, any reaching out between the two of you, you could be blocked or blocking each other. And uh, this curiosity is like, a, what if? What if? Is it possible to come together? And what if we came together? So there is lots of potential and hope in this energy. The bottom of the deck is the dust devil moving out of stagnation. Exactly. So that's what you both are looking into, how to do that. And uh, 15, the number of the stagnation, one is connecting with the higher self, both of you. Five is change, one plus five, five is connecting with your heart. So this is something almost like a big energy build up to push forward. Now, the way you see your person is sacred contract. The way your person sees you is the joyful muse inspiration. So it's like um, you believe that you two have a sort of contract with each other is unfinished business and your person is looking at you like you are so inspiring, amazing. Um, they might be writing a song, creating a painting, being creative in some other way. So they feel a very positive influence uh, because you have been or maybe energetically still are in their life. Your intention shows up, Virgo, as the netcaster. Preparations come to fruition. So you are working on yourself, but maybe holding this energy of, well, if something happens, I am not going to um, turn it down. So opening up to something new with your person. Mindful group think. This is your person's energy. And uh, this is like um, possibly finding things, solutions, different uh, views of the situation, working through what happened. Um, and this group thing is just suggesting me right now that they could be talking about you with someone, maybe with their friends. 
Okay, your fear is the deep quiet, another number 11 energy, meditation and stillness. So it's almost like, Virgo, you don't really dare to uh, connect with your higher self because you um, are unsure what is going to come through. And this, this picture is very interesting. This person is like made of light and the two of you very likely to connect in the astral plane. It's like energetically, uh, maybe... Uh, you travel, both of you, to each other at night. And uh, you may feel like if I am going into a meditative state, they will just come in and you may feel invaded by their energy. And their fear is the drifter experiencing life as it comes. This is a change energy, 14. 4 plus 1 is 5. So they are worried to go with the flow. They want to control things and uh, make them happen in a certain way at a certain time. The obstacle between the two of you is dances on a one foot balancing act. So it's like a very fragile situation right now. Number nine, there is progress possible between the two of you, but you both need to be very careful how you are approaching each other. If you are being approached, Virgo, how you are responding. Um, it's like, um, I don't know what this e example is. Um, yeah, it is a snail. I felt it, but I didn't see the picture. A snail coming out of their, their little shell and looking around. And then if, I don't know, when I was a child, I did, did this, like uh, to, to touch their head and then they suddenly retreated into their uh, shell. So I fear this is the case right now. Like you both are very, very protective of yourselves not daring to be vulnerable or not wanting to be vulnerable. But if you do decide one of you to reach out to the other, then the tiniest thing could make uh, any of you retreat. And the possible outcome is straddling words, wandering between realms. So this one is also about the change and... Uh, these realms can be the physical and the spiritual. Both of you are shifting um, between the two of you, trying to connect the two. Um, maybe the phys you two physically could be very far away from each other or geographically could be in different places. Also, um, the two of you are trying to find a way to manifest this in the physical very interesting energies. Right. So let's clarify. Let's see what is um, what else is showing up here. So there is lots of potential, lots of... Uh, the word is not coming to me. What is that? Um, I don't know. Maybe later it will. So... What I'd like to clarify here is your person's intention. So they are thinking it through, looking at things uh, from a different perspective, from every angle possible, uh, trying to just make sense of things. Strength card with the Six of Swords. They are trying to move on from you. And um, what is this Six of Swords about? Death card. Rebirthing themselves. So it's also the Shaman, the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. I feel that it is almost like they feel that the connection is over. It would need a miracle to bring it back from the dead. And they, uh, uh, it, it feels like they are working on themselves, um, maybe in a sense of realizing um, 
I don't, that's what I'm getting, numbing, numbing, they, they numb themselves. Maybe it's uh, healing addictions. They realize that they starting a new life is about happiness, another major arcana card at the bottom. And this is the King of Wands, Fire Alpha Male, and the Eight of Wands, um, and the Justice card. So um, two of cups also at the bottom, and the real positive change. So Virgo, it does feel like that your person is completely withdrawn, trying to move on from you, realizing that if they ever want to start anew with anyone, their addictive behavior, their way of being, uh, dealing with uh, issues is very harmful for them and could be harmful for whoever they are with. And um, I can't st stop feeling that uh, this is some kind of uh, it's like a, a giant uh, some I don't know how to describe this if someone is sitting on your chest and you hardly can breathe kind of feeling and if suddenly that person stops sitting on your chest you can breathe and this is just before that moment when you feel that you can breathe and um, that's where they are at right now. They are seeing that this is love. This is a uh, reciprocated love between you and them. Uh, but um, somehow a new balance needs to be found within themselves and between you and them. And this is talking about maybe taking action, reaching out because you definitely mean happiness to them. Wow, this is amazing. So we've got Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, um, who else? Libra, Leo, right here. Okay, so what is this dances on one foot as um, the obstacle three of pentacles? So, okay. Uh, I believe that they would like to reach out, to work with you, but they also feel that the world is ending. So as a big cycle ended and this reconciliation, the six of cups, um, they are not sure whether it's possible anymore. They are watching you and uh, trying to work out um, what is the right time to reach out to you? So they are feeling that they need to do something about this, but they are not quite sure or maybe not even quite ready to do it just yet. What is this straddling words about? We've got Ten of Sky, Ten of Swords, the High Priestess and the Fool at the bottom. So you both are in pain because of this separation. You both are trying to listen to your intuition, when to take a step, when to move forward. And this, the fall is starting anew. So I honestly feel that things may have not worked out between the two of you, but this uh, possibility for union and uh, the curiosity is there. What if? That's the energy I am getting. None of you can leave it alone. None of you can fully move on from this. I feel that you are both looking back and... Um, seeing things in a different light. You see them as this is a soul contract. They see you as their muse. So you both made a giant impact on the other person's life. And um, that's why it's so very difficult to move on from this. We've got stabbed in the back. Cassette. 
coffee cup and not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundary, still angry. It could be either of you or both of you. So that pain is still very fresh. And um, so I do feel that things need to calm down within you too. Stepped in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head, and coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So I feel that these cards are really describing where this situation is right now. You both are changing, transforming because of things happening or happened in the past between the two of you. You both are looking at things from a completely different angle, looking at each other, this um, stranger energy is like, if you met today, you and that person for the first time, what would your impression be about them? Would you be still interested in them? Would they be still interested in you? And what I am feeling from this reading, the answer is yes. Uh, this uh, protectiveness, um, being spiky, uh, but interested, and also uh, this possibility for union is, is there. It's not going anywhere, but this card, it's like steps. One step is missing. And that is what the two of you are working out right now. That step. Let's get to know about that step. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Want to date. So I feel Virgo that no one is perfect. Okay? You see each other like, well, you um, are not perfect. I know about your flaws. But I still cannot move on from you. And they see you the same way. So it is, you know, it is love. That's what love is. Accepting the other person with everything that they are, the good and the bad and the ugly, and still loving them um, and uh, not being able to live without them or choosing not to. So this one, Virgo, is a very interesting energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius and a Cancer as well. Um, full, this energy is full of anticipation. And uh, that's the word I was looking for. Um, and what ifs. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. Liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. Uh, please... Um, Continue to Patreon or find the one-off link in the description box if you would like to find out uh, about uh, what is actually happening with your person, their feelings, thoughts, um, what they would like to do, what is their plan. And um, if uh, you decide uh, we meet another time, then I look forward to that and do reach out if you wish to have a personal reading session energy healing, mentoring. I am rewording things now because um, I am an energy healer and I uh, used to call my sessions coaching sessions, but they are more like mentoring sessions. Uh, so I am correcting the name energy healing and mentoring, what you will find on my website, which is kind of going through um, facelift right now <laughs> a little bit of makeover uh, the links are still available it will have a brand new look just bear with me during the construction and um, I'm still here if you want to find me and you can't connect with, with me through uh, the website for any reason please send me an email sending you lots of love take care bye for now